Well, the Lakers came back with a vengeance tonight, beating the Sacramento Kings 117 to 92. And it's only their second win in double digits. And yes, Laker fans across Soak in the LA area will get a two free tacos with the purchase of a drink at Jack in the Box. And um, I'm, I'm happy about that. Oh, and the Suns beat the Warriors 104 to 96. No, oh, that was a great game. Even though Devin Booker left with the with the hamstring issue, but it's the first of four meetings between the two elite teams in the league. But um, yeah. So how about Dwight Howard and Monk and some of those bench players? AD pu putting it on. Carmelo, even without LeBron, we can still do this. And, uh, yeah, he's out with the health and safety protocol. So I think we'll be fine. We're 12 and 11 right now. We're 8 and 8 in November. Yeah, November was tough. And, um... Oh, and the Brooklyn Nets beat the New York Knicks in a close game as well, 112 to 110. So, yeah, so the, the Nets are, are still the beast in the East right now. Meanwhile, since the Suns beat the Warriors tonight, they're tied in the, in the Western Conference. So that's how November ended. The two elite teams are tied for first in the West. And... They'll probably go neck to neck, and they got three more meetings. They play again Friday in San Francisco, and then they play each other on Christmas. And we play the Brooklyn Nets on Christmas. Yeah, these games are really entertaining. Um, as we say goodbye to November. And uh, Javier Baez just signed a long-term deal with the Detroit Tigers. And boy, I think we're less than 24 hours away from the from the deadline on trying to sign that new collective bargaining agreement. So let's hope we don't have a lockout, you know, so we can try to get things settled and try to start the season on time. Um, so if you still want to see Corey Seager, just head down the freeway to Anaheim when the Rangers are playing the Angels. So since the Rangers and Angels are in the same division, you can catch Corey Seager at Anaheim when the Angels play the Rangers, and every three years when the Rangers play the Dodgers, you know, so we'll see what happens. And, and I'm sure Max Scherzer is going to be pitching against the, his old team, the Nationals, a lot. And, and, if we, and if we pass the physical, Daniel Hudson will be back pitching out of the bullpen. And... Uh, Well, all right. Well, that's all for tonight, and have a good night, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.